Let's begin this evening by queering up gay culture. Dennis Dean appointed to executive director at Arts United. With over three decades of dedicated leadership in the art industry, Dennis Dean is renowned for his visionary strategies, creativity, and commitment to fostering artistic challenges, uh, excuse me, artistic excellence. Dennis, a member of Arts United since 1999, has previously served as board vice president from 2016 to 2024. Now the seasoned art director, curator, and award-winning photographer has been appointed executive director at Arts United. His impressive portfolio includes over 30 published books and numerous uh, curated exhibitions across the U.S. and the U.K. His photography, a staple in Florida's gay press, has also been featured in international magazines. In addition to his visual art expertise, Dennis brings over 10 years of experience in the performing arts as a performer, stage manager, and theater producer. As executive director, he aims to promote cultural enrichment, expand community engagement through innovative initiatives, and forge impactful partnerships. Dennis is passionate about empowering artists and creating transformative experiences that resonate globally, uniting people through the arts. Dennis Dean is such an incredible human being. Um, you know, he's also part of the Hotspots Happening Out gallery with Dennis Dean in Wilton Manors. And, uh, you know, Dennis Dean has had back surgeries, numerous health issues, and that boy is still Saturday ready to open up an exhibition at his gallery no matter what. Um, you know, I, I, uh, De Dennis Dean is coming in to be the executive director at Arts United during a time where Oof. the arts the has lost so that. much oh money and he is ready to yeah. take the challenge on. Um, so for, you know, like I said, uh, Dennis Dean is an incredible um, photographer as well. For October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, he took my picture and that is what we had presented at our uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Exhibition mm. at his gallery. Um, his, his, cool. his detail, his, you know, his focus, he's just such an incredible human being and I can't imagine him doing a bad job at all, you know? And again, during a very tough time that he's coming in. Um, Robert, as ED at Stonewall, any like advice to a new ED over at Arts United? Well, even though he's a new ED, he's certainly fully experienced. Yes, for sure. But the big thing is to make sure that you do not use this as the sole reason for going out to get money. Uh, because a lot of people are getting nervous that the state will look at that as an opportunity to say, see, you didn't need our money anyway mm -hmm. because you've made it up. Uh, there's a reason for states and governments to invest in arts and culture. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't le lose track of what that reason is. And that is that it's very important to invest in the community. It's important to provide the educational liaison part. Um, arts and culture are very important for heightening education. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing here in Florida by cutting that out of the budget is putting our students at a disadvantage, putting our businesses mm -hmm. at a disadvantage, putting tourism at a disadvantage. So what Dennis has to do is build, a, if necessary, a stronger board and look for alternative sources. But that's to build on mm -hmm. when finally somebody in Tallahassee is smart enough to say the arts are well worth their weight in gold. And this is something that we should Absolutely. remind ourselves of that the cuts money will be made up but that is not the reason that government invests invests in the arts. Yeah, it's very true. Good for the, the state's economy. Really good for the state's economy. Uh, it's it's a huge amount of money that comes into the state. I yeah. think it's yeah. estimated at over three point three billion dollars, right. and that three point three billion then <clears throat> turns into more money for restaurants and hotels yeah. Yeah. and it's all, all the other ticket sales for concerts. I mean, it's. It's overwhelming how much money and how it makes people feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, as ED, one of your main uh, jobs is to fundraise. Oh, you know, if not, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling you, you know, I'm sorry. But I mean, would you say that that's maybe 85% of your job? Uh, it's officially, no. Unofficially? Uh, unofficially, you spend an amazing amount of time mm. because ultimately everything you do, whether it's producing brochures, whether it's producing programs, exhibits, whatever it is, ultimately, it's all about getting your name out yeah. there, showing the quality of your work, and hopefully that generates income. Florida is a particularly difficult place to raise money because lots of people that are here still think of home as someplace else. And mm -hmm. so they say, I give it home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a unique situation to Florida and a couple of the other 
places where there are lots of snowbirds or people that just still don't think of it as home. Yeah. And so it's finding home. It's home. It is home. Well, whether it's home or not, if you spend time here, you should invest yeah. here. Yes, for sure. Yeah. And that's the important thing. But we have not been able always through all the organizations been able to get that message mm. across. Mm. And it's interesting because on the east coast of Florida, it's one thing. On the west coast, you have a small city like Sarasota. In fact, Sarasota County is only a half a million people. Broward County mm. is two million. Miami is even more, mm. Miami-Dade. And yet Sarasota has two community foundations. Each one has more than the Broward found mm. Community Foundation. And they have more successful, sustainable mm. um, arts organizations. Mm. So it really has to be cultivated here we that we have work right. Completely, completely. Now, I kind of feel that Dennis is watching this running the other way. So please give me something positive. I got you. Um, Dennis <laughs> Dean is an incredible guy. Um, I've worked with him a number of times. Um, I've gotten to know him. He actually is one that photogra photographed me when I did the cover of Hot Spots in February for Black uh, History Month. It was an amazing cover. I looked incredible. Oh, yes. But Dennis Dean is such a talent. I feel actually honored <laughs> that uh, he had any interest in getting to know me. Um, I know I'm an incredible person, all that good stuff, but like when true artists like Dennis make it a point to get to know me, I feel just like, who am I? Well, I'm that bitch. You but are like, that I, bitch. I just feel like so grateful mm. that a mm. man like Dennis Dean, and this is so deserved. I thought he was running stuff already. So that means <laughs> right? it, it was <laughs> well past due. So Dennis Dean, congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Greg? Many congratulations, and we're, we're watching. We're watching. Yeah.